I'm Malayne Hillam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with ETI's FastCast. FastCast is a quick curing urethane resin which is low odour. The big advantage of FastCast is that you can measure, colour, mix, pour and demould all in around 10 to 15 minutes. One part is amber coloured and one part is clear. And when the two parts are mixed together, they create a soft ivory colour. You can also colour fast cast with Cast and Crafts pigments and dyes before mixing, or you can paint it after demoulding. You'll need a non-stick craft sheet, gloves, plastic measuring cups, disposable craft brushes, fast cast, and for this example, I'm also using Cast and Craft translucent dye. Fast cast works best when the room temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Because it has a maximum two minutes of working time at this temperature, it's important that you have everything at hand before you begin. When using plastic resin moulds or natural latex moulds, spray the mould with Cast and Craft mould release and conditioner and allow it to dry. Some moulds will tell you how much resin each cavity holds, but if not, Fill the mould with water or rice and pour it into a measuring cup to find its volume. If using water, dry the mould thoroughly before using it because fast cast doesn't like water. Fast cast is mixed in a one to one ratio, so once you've determined how much resin you'll need, mark this on the measuring cup. Place a second mark at half the total volume. Now put on your gloves. Measure out part A. Add Cast and Craft translucent dye one drop at a time. Stir it until the colour is blended evenly. When fast cast is coloured with dyes or pigments, it will always be pastel. Measure out part B. Do not vary the one to one ratio for any reason, or this may result in soft or sticky castings. Mix the fast cast for 30 seconds, scraping down the walls and the bottom of the cup. When mixing small amounts, I've found an acid brush works better than a stir stick. Transfer the resin into a second cup and mix for a further 30 seconds. Double mixing is important to ensure that the resin is thoroughly mixed. Pour the mixed resin into the mould immediately. It will be easier to pour if you pinch the lip of the cup. Set the mould aside to cure for 10 to 15 minutes. During this time, fast cast will heat up and visibly change from translucent to opaque right in front of your eyes. The casting is ready to be removed if it releases easily from the mould. A thin casting like this one will take 15 minutes, but a thicker one may take only 10 minutes. To turn this casting into a napkin ring, I'm wrapping it around the stem of a cake stand with a removable base. It's important to do this whilst the resin is still malleable. You can also use something like a broom handle. Secure the casting with plastic wrap until it cures hard. There are many different ways to colour fast cast. Try dusting the inside of the mould with mica powders. Here I'm using two different colours. I also coloured the resin with several drops of Cast and Craft black pigment to help make the colours pop. You can also use metallic waxes to highlight the texture. Just apply it with your finger. For a higher sheen, buff it with a soft cloth. Another alternative is to use spray paint to give the fast cast a more vibrant look like I have here. Fast cast can also be stained or painted with acrylic paints. Fastcast is excellent for prototyping, cosplay props, papercraft embellishments, jewellery and home decor projects like this. It's the perfect resin for whenever you need a quick result. 